everyone, it's Mrs. Bethany and Miss Jennifer from the Shelby Township Library and we're here to do another make and take craft with you that you can pick up the supplies for each month. Um, usually the first Monday of the month we'll have a limited number of a ki kits available with some supplies that you might have at home in case you don't get to the library. And so today we're going to be making an owl with you now that it's Ooh. fall and we're getting into the spooky Halloween season. I love Halloween. And I love owls. Mm. So there'll be a nice little fall decoration hopefully for you guys at home. So yeah. you'll need some construction paper. We have brown construction paper that we have already cut into some shapes. Maybe a whole sheet? Yep, a, a big whole sheet of brown paper. Um, also a little bit of black and orange paper so that you can make some eyeballs and a little beak for your owl and some cupcake liners that we're going to use for the eyes fun and some glue and scissors of course and then we have some little fake leaves you could use some real leaves if you find some in your yard or you could use some little pieces of paper cut up or maybe even feathers just to embellish and decorate your owl a little bit more so basically we have already cut ours out but you're going to need to either trace if you haven't picked up from the library we'll have it cut out for you but if you are at home and cutting out your own paper just kind of draw an owl shape on your paper with two pointy ears sort of a round body trace that with a pencil and cut it out and then you'll also need two little wings for your owl so sort of a big feather shape we cut two brown pieces out for mm. wings that we'll be gluing on and then we cut a little orange triangle out for our beak and we cut two little black circles for the pupils of our owl's eye. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and glue our wings on wings to the first. sides of our owl. Or you could start with eyes if you want, but let's start with wings. So put I mean, a little glue on the sides. And you could be creative with how you have your wings placed. You could have your owl flying and have his wings up, or you oh. could have them folded at his sides. I'll have his wings down, he just landed. Okay, Miss Jennifer's owl's landing and mine is gonna be flying, so he's gonna have his wings up in the air. And you kinda need to let your glue dry, so we'll let that dry while we work on the eyes. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna use a little extra glue, make sure that's nice and secure. And then for our eyeballs, Owls have big eyes, don't they? And they do. So if you have colorful cupcake liners at home, uh, we had some yellow ones that we put in our kits too, yellow or white. Ooh. You're gonna glue both of those down onto your owl where his eyes would go. So he'll look like he has some big blinking eyeballs. One. Do you want to use my glue? My glue bottle is big, so it takes longer for it to come out, but mm. there it is. <laughs> and then in the center of your owl's eye, so we're going to put a dot of glue so that we can put our little black circle for the owl's pupil. Or you can put it off to the side like he's looking around. Yeah. Is your owl going to be looking? It's dinner time. Somewhere. <laughs> so it could be looking mess. down, looking up, looking to the side. Who knows what he's looking for? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's see, what body part is our owl missing? Uh, he needs his beak. He does need his little beak. So right in the middle, where his little nose and mouth will go, put him another dot of glue, and we're going to take our little orange beak and glue that on there. Be fun to give him little stick legs if you had him outside. Yeah, if you have some more paper or sticks, you could make some legs for him. And then, now we're going to decorate him. So Ooh. owls have a lot of feathers and sort of fluffy look to them even on their ears sometimes. So you <coughs> can take some leaves and maybe even put some by his ears, put some on his wings, oh. put some on his tummy and give him a nice 3D textured look. I'm going to put him on his tummy. I'm going to start from I'll the bottom. put some on though. his wings. Oh, that's fun. So we'll need a little bit of extra glue to hold our leaves on mm. you'll probably need to be More careful with this and let it dry this is a tricky part where you pick up your owl you can just um, fold it up all over the place these are little fabric leaves that we have i think the real leaves from your backyard will look nice they will 
it's still a little bit early for us here right now when we're making our video mm. where we don't have a lot of leaves on the ground yet. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. They are we'll have changing colors yard. a little bit more. <laughs> One last little leaf here. Some nice plumage. Yes, that's Get a good word for his feathery yes. plumage. And then you can talk about the different kinds of leaves from the different trees that you have while you're gluing them down too. Like some of ours look like oak leaves. Some of them even look like ferns. You're really good. Maple leaves. <laughs> you're good. I like trees. I like trees. I like to collect leaves in the fall and you know press them. You oh. can press them in a, under a heavy book or something and then it's fun. hang them up on your wall. I think mine needs some for his tummy too. Yeah. So he's gonna have a lot of leaves. That's okay, we have some extras. <laughs> You might as well use up a lot of different cool colored leaves here. Yeah. yeah. It looks Oops. like he's jumping out of a pile. <laughs> yeah, he's jumping off a pile of leaves. I like doing that in the fall too, jumping in piles of leaves. This one, especially when they're crunchy. These ones are soft since they're fabric, but if you're using real leaves, they would be crunchy. Yeah. Oh, he has a really feathery sort of 3D look to him. All right. Let's see if they fall down. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna uh -huh. let them dry, but you can have a nice leafy feathery owl with eyes that really pop. Pop. <laughs> so much fun. It's a really cute craft that you could maybe hang up on your fridge or your door to decorate for this fall. Yeah, that's so much fun. Yeah. I like all the autumn colors. Yeah, there are lots of nice colors on there. Yeah. Cool. Turn out nice. This was fun. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you had fun and hope that you guys have fun at home making your little hoot owls. We would love to see pictures of them if you want to share with us on Facebook or send us a picture to the library or bring one in. Now that our library is open, we hope we'll see you um, soon to grab a craft bag and we'll make another craft with you next month. Bye. Bye, friends.